So today we're going to have a look at the Powerball pedal from Engel. I've said that a few times leading up to this Powerball pedal. It's a bit of a tongue twister, or maybe I just can't speak. Uh, it's a high gain distortion pedal based on the lead two channel of the actual Powerball amp. I think it has four channels on the on the actual amp, the clean, crunch, lead one, lead two. So this is based on the heaviest, highest gain channel um, from the amplifier. I've played a couple of Powerballs, but it was so long ago, I can't really remember. I remember it being not my favorite Engel amp. I really liked it. I think for me, the Blackmore uh, amp is my favorite. I've, I've played a couple and I've played with some bands and they've always sounded unbelievable. I saw Last In Line a few years ago and Vivian Campbell was using one and it just made me want to go home, get rid of all my effects and just plug a Les Paul straight into a, a Blackmore and just be done. Um, so normally with these videos, I'll have like a bullet point checklist and I'll go through the pedal and I'll learn it. This time I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So I'm just gonna, I've plugged it in. I've got an overdrive in front of it and a delay behind it. I'm going into the clean channel of this amp behind me. And I just thought I would just turn it on and get my initial impressions on camera uh, and then play around with it and see what we think. Uh, before I do that, I want to quickly go over the specs. So, yeah, so it's on the, it's uh, a reproduction of the Lead 2 channel of the Engel Powerball. Uh, it's got an, an additional DC socket out because this, pa uh, this pedal doesn't take a battery. So you have to use a power supply uh, for this pedal. The cool thing is, is that we will be able to, so for now I've got an overdrive in front of it and a delay, I can power both of those pedals from this with just one power supply, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's got controls for volume, gain, bass, middle and treble. Uh, it's a true bypass effect, 18 milliamps power consumption, so very low, but you're not running on the battery anyway, so... Uh, and yeah, made in Germany, so, I mean, it feels very well made. Uh, and hopefully it should sound pretty good as well. So let's turn it on. I'm going through this clean amp behind me, which is the Dualist XL from uh, RD Amplification. And this is a Pioneer P1 from LC Custom Guitars here in the UK. So this is, this is the clean sound that we're dealing with. So I've got all the controls on the pedal set at noon, at, uh, um, halfway, and I'm going to turn it on and let's hear how it sounds. So first of all, where's the gain? Um, I, I was expecting a lot more gain than this, to be honest, at, at the halfway point. Um, it's definitely more of a rock sound at this at this point and a very usable kind of rock sound as well. I'll be interested to see what happens with the EQ section when we adjust that. Uh, at the moment, it's a little bit underwhelming. I feel that it's, it's either gonna take off massively when we increase the gain or it's gonna really benefit from a boost pedal. So we'll see which one, um, which way it goes. But for now, I'll play around with the EQs and the gain level and see what we get. Yeah, I like that. That's much better. It's um, and it seems like it's going to be a very usable sound in a in a mix in a live setting as well. You know, 
reminds it reminds me of a a, a slightly pushed rectifier. It's a bit stiff, but when you get it right, it's kind of satisfying as well. It's a really wow, this is difficult um, to put into words. I really like that, that's, that's a good sound. I'm gonna try boosting the front end with a, a Boss SD1. I'm gonna take the gain back slightly on the pedal. Um, I think that we're gonna get a pretty good sound. I'll, I'll do it with and without. So with the gain backed off a little bit. Yeah, it really seems to come alive when you turn the overdrive on. So anything like a Cheap Screamer, SD1, that kind of thing, just boosting the front end a little bit. I haven't got any gain turned up on the, on the uh, overdrive pedal. It's just level all the way up, gain all the way off, and and um, the EQ bit just, I don't know, maybe one o'clock. So let's try it with a bit of delay, see how that sounds. <laughs> So now we'll try to do something a little bit more sort of metal, so we'll see how that sounds. Probably skip the mids, because why not boost the gain? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So I think that when you pair it up with an overdrive pedal, there's a lot of sonic possibilities uh, from low gain, as we saw just then, all the way up to very sort of saturated. But it never it never gets too... I, I don't think it gets too much from what I've seen so far. Even with the gain maxed out with an overdrive pushing it, yeah, it's a bit over the top, but it's nothing sort of unsuitable for those kind of styles. So... I think it's a pretty cool pedal. And so far, the way I would probably use this uh, is as a kind of high gain rhythm kind of sound. And then you've got the overdrive to push it when you need a bit more, and then probably put some kind of EQ boost sort of thing over it after it for solos. And yeah, I'd be really happy to use that as a as a main sound, I might give it a go at a rehearsal or at a gig to see how, how it copes in, in a mix. Because I've got a feeling it'll do pretty well. But yeah, let me know what you think down below of this pedal. Again, this is an LT Customs guitar. This is a Pioneer P1. Check them out. I'll put a link to the pedal below. So if you want to buy it, I think it's like 170 euros, 170 pounds or something. So it's quite an expensive pedal. It's really well made, it's versatile. It's, it's almost like they don't let you go too far with the knobs, so you can't really get a bad sound out of it. I know today's been a bit of a weird one, a bit more of a relaxed kind of impromptu sort of style. I think it kind of simulates more of what you would get if you were to go into a guitar shop and try it out for your first time. Uh, I, I want to try and give you that kind of experience. I know normally I do the whole, maybe in a track, or I've already pre-worked out what sounds good. Because I think a lot of the time, when you spend enough time with something, you can you can make most things sound pretty good. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.